your destiny is to ride with me But you don't see what I see You say I'm trying to run Jesus oh. but And it goes a little something like this. How Say, bro, street stories. I'm so psyched. <laughs> I'm so psyched. I feel like I'm part of the grace now. I've been watching all everybody in the view. Everybody got their interview. Right. But it's my turn. Holly <laughs> Grove, Mo, it's my turn. You had your turn. <laughs> Mo, it's my turn. <laughs> Tell us your name and where you're from, homie. Smokey Hall is your dog. I'm from Holly Grove, Louisiana, Apple Street, Apple and Cameroon to be exact. Apple and Cameron. Oh, we finally got Southside in the building, bro. Yes, Southside is in the building. Southside, bro. I knew Southside was talking about me, bro, because I ain't had nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Can nobody? I be honest? <laughs> Can I be honest? What's up? Can I be honest? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. I was watching the interviews. <laughs> oh, what my side at? Oh, what my people at, huh? So, you know. So, it, it I'm glad to be the first representative, Holly Grove, Holly out. Shout out to everybody, Black and more, all my people. You heard yeah, me? Shout, shout the whole side out, bro. It, it everybody, ain't love, bro. Too many to name, bro. Too many to name. Let's say, uh, man, Jig, you feel what I'm saying? They know who I am, Black and Mo. You know what I'm saying? T Long, you heard me? All my niggas, they know who they are, Lil One. Uh, what's you some know? of your, your earliest memories of the neighborhood, bro? Back in Holly Grove. The early members of the neighborhood, niggas hanging out on Apple and Cameroon. Our famous DJ that we had for Halloween, everybody had our shirts. And the, um, the shirts was out actually Apple Street. Yeah. And it was all the corners. It was a black shirt, long sleeve shirt. Everybody had a shirt. What year this was? Oh, man. Don't even let me. I ain't lying. Uh-uh. <laughs> I ain't lying on camera. So. I can't yeah, remember, yeah, but, but everybody, they know who I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. Everybody had on the black shirts, yeah. with the long sleeve. It was the whole Apple Street, and okay. they had all the streets lined up on it. And they had Apple Street, and it was on, the DJ was on Halloween. Yeah. I was driving my 1980 Malibu McLean Rams. <laughs> I was I was the, the one of the original hot boys, me and my nigga Jamuki. Yeah, the, they, the, Jamuki, they know who that is. The DJs was on Apple Street? The DJ was right there on Apple Street at Sean House. They know what oh, I'm talking about yeah. at Sean House. Sean House was in between Jolly Yet and Cameroon, yeah. right across the street from Dion. Yes. And I stayed on Apple Street at that time at the uh, 89, oh, we like, lost them light. At uh, 89, uh, 8904 Apple Street. Oh, yeah. yeah. How we looking on like my uh we could cut it. I could turn this on. That's good. I forgot all about that. You know you straight? You straight? I'm straight. Yeah. Did not tell you what happened when you come over here. <laughs> we yeah, learning yeah. all kind but of news. But nothing but pure lunches I came mean, here, bro. I mean when you mess with Smokey Hall, you better ask around yeah. about Smokey yeah. Hall. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes. So yeah. so Apple, so that when people think of Apple, they automatically think of Lil Wayne, Apple yes. the Evil. You ever had any run ins with Lil Wayne? I've never had anyone run ins with Lil Wayne. Heard a lot about him, right? Other people, but me, no, never, because I was more focused on my music. Oh, and right. if you can ask anybody around there, Smokey Halls, they called me G Red back at that time, was always focused on his music. Oh, I got so, you. you know, that was, that was me. What that got was... you into rapping, though? And how long you been rapping? I've been rapping since. Since I've been knowing myself. Yeah? Yeah. I, I can never remember a time when I wasn't dealing with music. The first time I could ever think about dealing with, uh, think about music, I would have to say that goes back to my DJ Chuck. My cousin DJ Chuck, he was a DJ and he bought his 1200s. Mm -hmm. And when I came to his house, he had his lights dimmed down and the turntables was on. And if you know anything about 1200 turntables, mm -hmm. they have the little lights shines up on it. And it looked like a space, like a space machine. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" And they liked me, and I just started listening to the music. And then oh, all right. that's all. That's the. And I was, I can't even remember how old I was, but I was. Ever since then, I was living, growing, and talking hip hop. What school you went to? High school. Oh man, my high school days was crazy. I went to Clark Elementary and I went to Saint Aug High School. Oh, okay. that was my two high schools I went to. They know you for rapping too, or you didn't? Or you didn't? You didn't Back then, it. rapping was just for me. I was yeah. doing it. I was doing it to, so I wouldn't fuck with no. I I was rapping so right. I wouldn't get into nothing else. Right, so right. nobody really probably knew anything about me or my love of hip hop because I never really told anybody until you know until I got older and really started. Kick, I would say taking it serious. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Who was some of the rappers you was inspired by coming up? For from New Orleans or just you period? 
Period. Really? Uh, People do New Orleans first if you want. I can say New Orleans because, like I said, I'm fluent. My favorite rapper from all time from New Orleans is G Slim. Right. If y'all know G Slim, that one album had me hooked. Rest That's my Jesus. favorite album all time. After that, I would say Juvenile, then I would say Mystical. Mm -hmm. But yeah, G Slim was when I heard G Slim, it was like he was like, yeah, I like yeah, the way I, he's, I like that gangster shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I was a Snoopy fan anyway. You know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. yeah. Who you like outside of the out of boot? Out the boot. Out the boot. I like I said, I was Snoop fan. Um, Rock him most definitely. Uh, me and my uh, me and my cousin. D Shy, he was one of my first rap partners. We used to dress up and act like he was Run DMC. Uh, and that's that's how we started. That was probably way back in the G, but we thought we was Run DMC. You couldn't tell us nothing different. You know what I'm saying? We thought we was Run DMC. But that's why, that's that's my love of it. That's how I got into the love of it, dressing up and trying to emulate what I saw on TV, me and my cousin. Yeah. And then rap came after that. I'm with the smell of the type of music you make, like, you know, it's be laid back, some, some buck music or some. You know, you, I, I can't imagine you on it. All the way, the only way I can describe my music is, it's me. Right, right. It's me. I don't make no certain type of music. It's all the things that I love to do. And one of the I, things I love to do is smoking. So you probably hear that mostly, but I love that's to travel what I was too. About to say. That's what I said. Some smoking. I, yeah, you def I'm like, definitely gonna drop some smoking. Smoking and vibe. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna talk about some smoking in there. But I love to travel. You know oh, what I'm right. saying? I'm a, like I said, I'm a cultural anthropologist studying cannabis. And so I'm on a hunt for the best cannabis strains in the world. Oh, and okay. I also could, uh, I'm also a cannabis consultant and I can, I'm a uh, market for the Louisiana medical marijuana doctors. Oh, so I can right. also get you your Louisiana medical marijuana cards oh, for recreational and medical. You know what I'm saying? We started out medical, but you know, it's, it's turned recreation all over the world. It's just haven't caught up here in Louisiana yet. So you can smoke medical and feel recreational. <laughs> but I medicate. I don't intoxicate. Oh, I, I, Definitely, I'm medicating right now. I'm being I'm being mentioned with the grace right now. What? Oh, By doing this yeah, 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 come on, man. This is the real shit around here, bro. We gotta put man, us you, on, bro. man. You don't, you don't. I mean, you don't, you don't, you don't mess with nothing but the best. For as I can see, yeah. for what I've been watching. Yeah. You smell what I'm, you smell what I'm smoking. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like I said, and y'all, y'all forgive, me, forgive my homie if the camera, if the camera is a little off, if something happened because we in a, a closed in roomy. Yeah, he might be getting a contact. <laughs> Let's hope I'm not, to, though. Let's I'm hope not, to, though. I'm trying to get a good shot. You, know what I'm <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but yeah, man, I feel, I feel honored, bro. I feel honored. Yeah. So, what kind of challenges you have to face coming up, growing up, man? Huh? Trying to survive out shit. That's why I had. That's why I had to focus on my music. I grew up. Well, it was kill or be killed. You know what I'm saying? And um, you lost any friends coming up? I, for me to name and take a thousand ball verse. Oh yeah. For me to name them all. So, so my I, I try to stay focused. Like I said, music saved my life. I try to stay focused on my music. So when I did go out into the world, I knew I had something to come back home to. I had right, a stack right. of rhymes where I just laid out my whole, you know what I'm saying, everything I did that day. So I didn't let it bother me because I knew I can go home and put it in my pad and pen. Right. I didn't let I didn't let what what I saw influence me because I could take it all in and go and go right down what was wrong about it. Right. I can go right down what was right about it. Mm -hmm. So that was my vent. I didn't I didn't let it absorb me. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't, I'm not perfect. You know what I'm saying? I did my things. You know what I'm oh, saying? Wow. But you know what yeah. I'm saying? Nobody's perfect. But you know what I'm saying? Music made me. Music made me make a lot of the the right decisions. Yeah. Well, you know what, what I'm saying? Who we'll put you in your element when you make a music? I uh, guess it's the smoke. <laughs> the smoke and the track. The track talks to me. A lot of people could write without the track. Yeah. And I've wrote a lot of. I a lot a lot of time when I started growing up. I really had nobody to write my track. So. I wrote without the track. Yeah. So now I feel more comfortable writing with the track. So mm -hmm. once I hear something that I like, a real track that I like, I take it home and I sit and I write to it. And mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? I meditate to it. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So, yeah. So you you make beats too or you just, what? You no, just, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm more of a producer than a beat maker. When I mean by that, I could take, I said, take that part right there and loop it up and then do what you do with it. That, to, oh, that, right. That's me. I could, I could hear hip hop. 
Yeah. I can hear hip hop in in, a, in the old song be like, just take that part right there and loop that part up. So I'm not. I I don't know how to add the beats and do all that. I ain't gonna. I know how to do that, but when it, so I'm more of a sample guy. When it comes, you'll see you hear a lot of my music for samples because I probably pick most of the samples that I be rapping off of. Uh, so who you work with mostly in the studio, like on projects? You know what uh, I'm saying? my I have uh my number one producer that I work with right now that I've been working with for a long time is DJ Idol with a lot of beats, uh, a lot of my stuff. That's what I'm coming out with. My engineer is Fifty Grand, and another producer that I work with also. It's DJ Musa Clown. That's my lifelong friend. That's DJ. That's Jamuki, y'all. Yeah, yeah they know who Jamuki is. He's, but his uh, beat, uh, name is DJ Musa Clown. He, <laughs> DJ Musa Clown. Pretty much, yeah. I like that. And, and he be clowning. <laughs> he be clowning. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Fifty Grand for yeah. setting this up. Too, right. You know? Shout, Shout out to Fifty. He set this up. You know. Um, today, really. Right. You know and what guess what? I've been like I said when Fifty called me. Yeah. And he was like, somebody wanted the interview. I said, all right, well, fuck it. I said, who it is? And, 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 all right, well, I'm fucking, I said, oh, this, this? I said, hold up. I said, hold up. But you know what? That's, that, yeah. but, but that's how shit happens with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I see in one of my lines, uh, I don't chase, I attract. I attracted yeah. this. Because when I started watching the fucking interviews, bro, I was like, hold up. Man, I know these cats. These my people that I grew up with. I know these cats. And this guy is. Then I started watching your shit. I saw your videos and stuff. I said, all right. I saw your face, but I'm gonna be honest. When I saw your face, I said, I don't know him. Right. Yeah, right. we never met. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. And I haven't, I haven't been in the hood. Like I said, I just came. I've been out of town. I just came back into town. I haven't been in the hood. Holla at Black Moon. Holla at anybody. T boy. Say who, who, who the man? Who this is? About? I haven't had a chance of that. <laughs> but, right. That's what, and that's all South Side niggas who I just named. Yeah, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? saying? Right. So it's like. I'm you know, born on East Side, raised on West Side and East Side. You know, I went to school with a lot of South Side. But like I see a lot of those interviews that you did, a lot of people I grew up with, a lot of people I interacted with with music and also and everything. So yeah, like, yeah. Well, you know, you know, most, you know, West, you know, yeah, some West Side people. Definitely, yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the song, a project you dropped that holds special meaning to? Like a special song, a song that really like, yeah, that's what hell will live with me if it's going. It's gonna live in my heart if it don't live nowhere else. That would be my project, um, Smoking Area Three. I got some songs I did that in San Diego. That that was very. When I went to San Diego, I, I it's like I found I found the love of hip hop again. And those records that I did there were real special to me. Yeah, I what did. Which you was out there? Um, I think that was like a, maybe a year and a half ago. Oh, all maybe, right. Yeah. And I dropped that. As soon as I did, I had to drop it on. I just dropped music. I, it's no special day. I did do it. Drop it. Do it. Drop it. Drop it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm just me. <laughs> Where they can find your music at, man? Uh, all my music on all major platforms. YouTube, um, Smokey Hogs, uh, Apple Music, Smokey Hogs. All major platforms you can find my music. And uh, Instagram, um, Smokey Hippie Hog. And um, on Facebook, um, um, Smokey, I think. Smokey Hustle Money Ho. I'm just <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, those are names that I had from affiliations. You feel what I'm saying? Hustle Money is that's my brother. He was one sign in Universal, and I, we did a run with him, and I would drop some music with him, and he was at Hustle Money Records. That's he now, Big Chief Beautiful. Hustle he's, Money. Yeah, he's uh. And you see your brother, a Hustle Man, huh? Yeah. Speaking of the hustle. Yeah. Yeah, legendary Hustle Man. Yes. He's yes. from New Orleans. He's from up there. You know where yes. you are. You yeah. already know. Yeah, you if, know, you got, you know. if you got a, if you got a T-shirt or bought, you got a T-shirt or you bought a CD or some music, uh, you, you're moving. Uh, move you you it. got it from Hustle Man. Yeah, yes, you got it from Hustle Man. Uh, you say we look alike. You got to look a little hard, but they say we look alike. Oh, well, he's just a little dog. Man. That, that's I mean, it. That's, just a, that's a dog. That's what they say. That's a dog version of me. Oh, I'm a lighter version of him because he came first. So I right, have to say right. that. That's my big brother. Right, my, right. And I tell everybody, say, I got a legendary brother. Don't play no games. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Man. Man, shout out to Hustle Man, a.k.a. Big Chief Beautiful, right there on Claiborne Avenue off the uh -huh. parkway. <laughs> Respect that. Yes. So how do you see the rap industry evolving in the future? And uh, how do you plan to adapt to those changes? I... I I see the rap, the rap game going to independent. A lot of people going independent, so because it's so easy to put out videos and to make your own music. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying once people, people really haven't realized 
the, how easy it is to put out music and do music right now. Some people have, some people haven't. You know what I'm saying? My Jamuki always, he, he messed with me all day. He said, Smokey Hogs, you the only nigga I know that can make the song, record the song, edit the video, and put it out the same day. You lazy. <laughs> he be calling me, he, he do me that like that. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's that easy. People could actually do that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's not, it's like, it's no, it's no excuse. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And some things you can do by yourself, some things you need help with. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you always need a team to do anything by yourself. But you can't ask nobody to do something that you don't know how to do. So do the research yourself, how to do a little bit. So I'm not asking you to not know how to shoot a whole major video, but know a little something about it. So when somebody's shooting your video, you know they ain't fucking up. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And pretty soon you might just shoot your own video or shoot somebody else's video. Right. Perfect example. I, I shoot edit videos every now and then. I started shooting my own videos. And I found out that I love that shit. I love to do that shit. So I do it a little more often than I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. in other words, you always you're always gonna find something else that you're interested in that you, that can might make you some more money. You feel what I'm saying? You gotta go with it. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like me going from being a rapper to being an interviewer. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect for them. You know? Yeah. 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 We have many hats. And you can do it yourself. You the one bad true one bad man. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can do you can do it yourself. You well, know what I'm saying? Or or get somebody to help you do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of helping, who would you like to collaborate with out here? Like, Anybody right want to collaborate with me? But yeah. I would say off off top, um, you no, know, the usual Juvie. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Who, who don't want to work with Juvie? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I, I got a lot of my bucket list off the uh, a lot of my bucket list. I did a verse with Skip. I did a song with Skip. I did a song with J Dog from Black Minutes. That was like one of my Coming up, J Dog and Black Menace mean like me and D Shot, like we emulated uh, Run DMC, mm. we emulated uh, Black Menace. Black <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm. So I, I I did a song with J Dog. That was one out of my bucket list. But um, I love to collaborate with anybody in the hood. You know what I'm saying. I love to do a song with Junior. I know him personally. We just haven't did a song together, but I know him personally. We'll with get it out the way. Junior, Ma- Junior Montana. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, I know. I, Junior, I know him personally. We just haven't got together and did the song together. When, when that was, you did the song with J-Dog? That was a minute ago. That was a minute ago. Yeah, I know he was, you know, he was sick. Right, yeah, that was before he was sick. Yeah, before oh. he was sick, yeah. Oh, it's on YouTube. I'll Google it. It's on YouTube. It's a smoke song, of course. <laughs> it's smoke song. And look, I don't, I, I. A smoke song? Yeah. I, I can run his verse right now, his whole verse, but I'm not going to do that. But I, y'all go check out that verse. Listen. Well, if that was the nineties. That'll be hard. Listen. To be listen to that verse he ran on. Yeah. Man, the shit that. Keep... <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It was. Google it. Google it. I mean, y'all go. Y'all go. Y'all. Y'all tell me under the comments. It's it's on there. Google <laughs> Smokey Hog J Dog Smoke Something track produced by DJ Must Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what's a major goal you set to accomplish in life? A major goal I set to accomplish in life to start uh, to start another business with my with my kids. Oh, start right. another business. I have I have businesses that I have started with other people, but I want to start one with my kids, with my children, and you know, um, and, and and put something generational wealth. That's my that's mm-hmm. my next goal in life is to build generational wealth. I feel like that's, and I feel like that's what my dad left me, and I think that's what I owe to my kids. Cause right. I feel like I put everything that I have, I put on my dad. My dad taught me who I am, yeah. and I feel like he left me a little something where I can do what I'm doing right now. So I need to do do something for my right. mine. Right. So I'm always about generational wealth, right. especially if you have any kids, man. Do something. If it if it's nothing but taking out life insurance policy and putting them in your kids and putting them in your kids' name on yourself. That, that that's might sound crazy, but y'all trust me. Do something for your kids, the generational wealth. That's what it's all about. And yeah. and definitely for my sons. I have two sons. I'm trying to get them. I wish I could get them to rap, but they did. My <laughs> they did yeah, they not. You know, now, my youngest good. son, he 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 got it in him. He got yeah. it in him. He talk it. He just don't know he can be a rapper. He but he's <laughs> he's yeah. he's the old me. He was G Red that was hanging on Apple and Cameroon. Mm. And my younger son, my older son, he's right. smoking hogs right now. He don't even smoke. No. My older son, but he's just like me now, more conservative and more. And my youngest son, 
he's G Red, Gangster Red that hung on Apple and Cameroon what right the now. Ages is? Oh man, don't see that. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm not doing that. Because, see, when you know their age, you're going to figure out my age, and I'm going to uh, be in a rampage. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I smell know. what I'm smoking? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. But, yeah, them, 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 them my sons. I, I love both of them. I love both of them. Cajolino, that's my, that's my youngest, and Cornelius, that's my oldest. And only I can call him Cornelius. He said, can't nobody else call him that but me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we going we gonna to sign off. Anything right. else you want to say before we get out of here? Oh, man, love, peace, nappy grease, and uh, find a friend, find a partner, find somebody you can trust, start a business, and make some money. Talk. That's for everybody. Talk. And thank you for letting me be part of oh, the yeah, Holly Grove. Side, the Holly Grove side. legends. I'm a part. I'm, <laughs> I'm about I'm about to put you on here again. I'm I'm gonna say I'm being mentioned with the greats. I'm talking about this right this energy right here when I say it in my it's right. Like street uh, stories, yes. Love you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait, one more thing. What, 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 what you got? What you what you got planned? I got uh smoke smoking so? area smoking area four. I'm headed to Denver. I'm gonna be right. shooting videos and recording music out there. Smoking area four. As soon as I finish, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> as soon as I finish, I'm just gonna drop it. That's what it is. That's y'all. what it is. Smoking area four, bro. Smoking Shout out home. to DJ Idol. Shout out to Fifty Grand. Shout out to South Side. Shout out to DJ Must I Clown. Uh, Shout out to all my dogs. Shout out to T to the Three, DJ one of the dopest Side. MCs from Jackson to New Orleans. You heard me? Uh, Smoking hard, your dog. We out. You heard me? Highly grooving it. You can start rolling up now. <laughs> Cause that's what? My shit been lit. You know the smoking area three, right? Smoking area three. I got my eyes on Timmy. Yeah. If you didn't know, now you know. From three to infinity, we dropping number games. You hear me? Not every man is for himself, and God is for us all. Smokey hogs, I'm your dog, and we gon' ball and won't fall. It wasn't always like that. Smokey came a long way. I went from part time hustling to grinding every day. I used